Hello guys, Islam here today and we're going to be going over your fresh level 50 and what you should be doing, what's important, and just, just regular tips that you should know about. Uh, first off, Nightmare Sigils. Um, before I was like, I'm forgetting something, like literally forgetting, there's got to be more to this. And I had a quest that uh, wanted me to use Nightmare Sigil and I, did, I was like, what the hell is that? What do I do with it? Or how do I get to it? Well, first, to obtain them, you can... Go down to the Tree of Whispers, the Whispers of the Dead, and when you hit level 50, you'll have these random things that pop up. It's like uh, Grim Favors you can obtain, and I normally do the Dungeons because they give more between 3 to 5. However, you got to make sure it does not expire before, uh, or you can actually do it before it expires, because I don't think you get the Grim Favors. I've tested it, and um, I've never t uh, got them, at least, uh, from what I saw. Um, so one minute the boss is up and I can do that right now and you get some weekly bonus spoils and it takes a while for it to expire. So, and that also gives you five grim favors, the cash or items you get for returning in this, this bounty, you will potentially get a nightmare sigil. I don't know if it's hundred percent. If it is, uh, hell yeah. Um, but you go in your inventory and you go to consumables and this will... Well, they're actually consumables because you consume them and If you're fresh you start with the tier one. I have a uh, tier three four five currently and Right click it to use it and it says if you you know, you want to activate it blah 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 and Yes activate it if you are ready and you will see you have activated a nightmare dungeon if you're in a group They have to vote to accept uh, whether or not they need to start or they want to start it and it'll show up on your map where it's at. So over here, it says, uh, yep, this is now my nightmare dungeon, tier three. I just to right click it. I will travel here and run to it. Now, if you're not in a group and you have a nightmare dungeon activated and you join a group, it will close it. I found that out the hard way and I didn't lose much. I did get an item out of it. I guess for completion or well lack of completion but still it gave me a reward but if you have not finished it make sure you finish it if you want to before you join a group now the region progress rewards uh, this is something that I was trying to get to before and I just could not figure it out because I'm not smart as, as most people but if you hover over any region it'll the top it basically changes what your uh, progress is in this region and it also says on the far right of that, W view rewards. So now you can view the rewards. If you change the key bindings, make sure you have the key binding set to an appropriate key that you can change it to or that you use. Um, but yeah, mine's default W and it tells me what I have completed. And this is basically just doing unlocking the waypoints, doing the strongholds, side quests and discovery just exploration side dungeons altars of lilith so these are really important because you actually get skill points your potion capacity and the paragon points at the end of each um at the end of each progress reward so yeah this is very important to do especially for new characters and so on and so forth also for your skill points because free skill points are you know amazing to have Next is gold. Yes, so gold is probably your most important yeah. currency. You would think that your materials are important, which they are. I'm not denying they're not. They, they are important, but they're also easy to get, just like gold. And I at the when you're a fresh level 50, you're gonna probably spend a lot of times in dungeons or just doing random things, bounties, uh, but mostly nightmare dungeons and the hell tide. So, my biggest advice is to farm gold. Like, pick up as, uh, at least the rare items. I normally pick up rare items. I don't pick up the blue items, the magic items, because they don't sell for much. I just pick up the, the rare and legendary. But if you're just farming gold, I'd suggest picking everything up. Even, uh, well, everything but the white. I guess the common. But regardless, just I would just pick anything up instead of just second-guessing myself of what I should say. And right now I have 5.6 gold, which you think is a lot of gold. It is not. When you get down to the enchanting of your gear and doing all the other stuff, upgrading your gear, 
it is most definitely a big necessity to have abundance of gold and right now what i've been doing lately is just farming gold and legendary sell for more but you also would want to salvage legendaries due to their resources but if you have salvaged a decent amount i would just suggest selling them for gold because they sell for more gold well since they're legendaries or at least sacred ancestral and etc now for uh helltide in general and for the fiend rose you will find that you have none of these resources at all these materials excuse me and it says rare crafting material they're exceptionally hard to find um found in, during the helltide and well if we go here go to our map well if you see a red area like this it's well i don't think this is necessarily one it's just a good example uh, a zone will have like red all over it and that is a hell tide there are none there's none up right now it will have a red icon up for you to view it but right now there is not one currently up now they last for about i think for about an hour and you have to wait another hour or two for it to come back up if you actually want to view the timer you can go to d4 uh, events.live which it will tell you the helltide event countdown one hours one minute and 27 seconds currently at this uh, point in time of the video now it's a good website to have just in case you actually want to fa uh, farm fiend roses and you can actually find them through the throughout the the land they they will spawn and you can loot them as a normal uh, herb or uh, I think believe I believe when you do events and and such you can get them from chests uh, as, a, as a rare um, reward but most definitely good to have for upgrading or en excuse me enchanting your gear uh, for those nice juicy and lucky rolls which I have yet to uh, be accustomed or at least a part of um, currently so yeah 